Welcome back to the channel guys. I'm not been doing you know, my videos regularly so I'm very rusty. Please bear with me. So we got a very interesting uh, video and a topic today. It's going to benefit a lot of beginners and maybe a few intermediate players also because it involves a lot of recording techniques which I learned over a period of time and I find it very useful. So what we're going to do today is the topic is very simple. If you have a basic small digital amp, don't underestimate it. I was having this conversation with a friend who was like, you know what, I have you know, one of those black star ID goes, you no, know, I, I really can't record with it, you know, it doesn't sound that good. So my argument was, you know, when when I started off playing guitars, all I had was a small solid state amp, which was not even digital, and it had a built-in distortion and I played with that. So and are these amps really so bad? So that's the question I'm trying to answer, number one. The target of the video is number one, are these amps that bad, number one. Number two, what can you do to make them sound better? Small amps are not bad inherently. If you listen to any of the Led Zeppelin recordings, especially the earlier ones, all of them were recorded in five watt small tube amps. And I love small amps. I have uh, one, two 5 watters, one 15 watt and one 50 watt and I tend to play the 5 watt the most but today's topic is more digital amps so what I'm going to do today is I have taken out my um, you know Blackstar ID Core 10 version 1 which is I think some 10 odd years old now I don't know, I don't know how old it is I don't even use it so I plugged it in today I'm going to use a beginner guitar this is an Ibanez RG570 from 99 made in Japan but this is the cheapest uh, you know, humbucker that I had because I wanted to use humbucker for this video. Otherwise, I wanted to do it on the telly, definitely telly. But anyways, um, that's, that's really not the topic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to record something. And I'm going to do it in one shot. No retakes, mistakes, I don't care. I'm just going to record straight one shot. I'm going to record the... You know the guitars the rhythm portion and then i'm going to just overlay the solo on it and play the bass all through the id core nothing else everything that you hear including the reverb the delays the distortion i'm gonna pan a shot now on on what i'm using and it's mic'd with a basic sm57 so let's hear it um and there are you no know, the reason i'm i played this particular played it in this particular manner is to explain some of the recording techniques hear it out let's come back Fundamentals of recording. Know your gear. My gear here is just an ID Core 10, mic with an SM57, which is going into my sound card. I'm not using my pedal board. I'm not using anything apart from the amp. 
everything that you hear is coming from there. So tweak around. There are certain points where the amp will sound good. There are certain positions that the mic will sound good. So you may have a good sounding amp with a bad mic placement and it'll sound crappy. Fundamentally first, do not ever record these amps directly with their uh, you know interface which is built in. It never sounds good. I recommend buying a basic mic. This is, I don't even remember how expensive it just lies around. There's a Behringer SM57 clone. It's very cheap. Look it up. I'm, I'm not into sponsorship or affiliate links or something. Just search for it. Know your gear. Get a basic mic. Mic it up. Move around the mic. It's not necessary that your amp needs to sound good always. It may sound mediocre, but the mic placement makes all the difference. So capture those positions, mark it. Second most important when you're recording, don't fear the red light. You're, it's, it's perfectly fine to make a mistake. Like I sluttered, I don't need to retake the shot. My message goes through. You're not, you're not making a record. You're, you're recording to hear yourself. You're maybe recording to post it on, on, on you know, Instagram or YouTube or wherever that you're putting it. It's okay to make mistakes and do not get stressed because fundamental of playing the guitar and I made that mistake, I still make that mistake. When you're, when you're tense, you will sound horrible. So don't fear the red light, that's number two. Dog. Whatever platform you're on, whether you're on Windows or you're on Mac, it does not matter. Always work with a decent uh, DAW. There are multiple free ones out there. Um, GarageBand, which is built in with uh, Mac, is very useful. I use GarageBand despite of me having Logic because it's, it's much more easier you know, to, um, to you know, work around GarageBand. So it's, and it's very easy to learn. So know your digital, you know, um, digital audio workstation, the DAW. Get a good one, which is easy and know all the bits and pieces around it. There are lots of plugins which come free along with the software. Know those plugins. Though what you're hearing now, um, we're gonna discuss about the recording techniques. I have used only the amp, I have mic'd it, but that's the next point I'm coming to. I have EQ'd it. If required, get a good fundamental, um, you know, lesson on how to use EQ, not just your, you know, pedal board EQ or your amp EQ, I'm talking about your DAW EQ or EQ in general. Don't be afraid of using multiple tracks. That's the next point. You can't, you don't need to take everything in one shot. What you heard, if you can go back to the end of the song, I'm actually working with three tracks. So there's one track which is pan to, uh, I think, pan to right, and it has a mild chorus to it. There's a rhythm track going. There's one more track which is playing the same thing without any effects on it. So don't be afraid of using multiple tracks. And it's not necessary for you to play all the tracks exactly. A little bit of, um, you know, mismatch between the two tracks, not a fundamental mismatch on the timing, but uh, a little bit of a mismatch actually creates a good effect you know, when you hear it back. So that's, that's basically the tracks. Use multiple tracks. Last but the most important part, learn the fundamentals of mixing. That's gonna help you a lot. Because once you have, no, you have recorded something, I'm not talking about mastering, but I'm talking about the mixing. Mastering comes much later once you mix the tracks. Get your levels right. Do not just go berserk on the gain. Don't go berserk on the volume. Learn to use a good meter so that you no, know, no, there's a difference between gain and there's a difference between you no, know, there's a difference between gain and volume. So gain is basically you know, the clipping point and RMS is, you know, basically what you hear. So do some YouTube search. There are lots of nice videos and that's where I learned from. So basics of mixing, which also involves EQing. There's EQing, there's imaging, you know, and 
though on this video what you heard what what you heard me do is get everything out of the amp but if you keep a lot of things outside of the amp that is your you know you're basically doing a post you you can manipulate a lot of things so that again comes into mixing and you know, a little bit of mastering understand those concepts that's going to come in very 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 handy last but not the least don't write a cheat what you heard is i just played i recorded it i did not bother to perfect a certain portion you're having fun you're not creating a record there might be mistakes there might be small timing errors there might be small note errors you don't need to play everything note by note even if you're playing someone else's song you can improvise on it so don't try to micro tweak you know certain portions in the start just start recording just just have fun with it so these are my top points um and if you go back to you know all the points which i know are told there are individual youtube videos by amazing guys out there who rock search those videos you know just just learn the basic aspects go back to what i played you'll see all of these things applied it's a small id core with a guitar which is 24 25 years old and no pedals just you know a clone mic going straight into um, you know my laptop and, and it sounds decent it gets the job done is it is it some real pro quality stuff it's not it's not intended to be so fundamentally it sounds good so important part is the best gear is what you have in your hand use it have fun keep rocking and if you like this video hit the like and subscribe button it helps me thank you so much